Welcome to Medical Class 901 with Dr. Chi. My name is Dr. Chinelo Animalo, Infectious Disease Specialist and Professor of Medicine at UT Health Science Center, College of Medicine, Division of Infectious Diseases, Memphis, Tennessee. So one of the common questions we've gotten on this show so far is about the neurovirus and um, outbreaks has happened in the recent months, especially in December. So let me start, you know, basically by describing describing what um, this virus is. So it's commonly known as the stomach virus or cruise ship virus. And it's basically a viral illness that causes more like gastrointestinal um, symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, um, diarrhea and uh, body aches. So this is different from, you know, the flu virus that causes mostly respiratory infections. So this basically is a foodborne illness and causes approximately about 58% um, of all foodborne diseases in the United States. And one of the questions we commonly get would be, you know, how do we contract this virus? So the commonest way to contract this virus is actually from someone who is already infected. And so it could be a family member, a co-worker, you know, or, you know, a total stranger that has the symptoms that we've talked about. Um, basically the nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, body aches and body, and, um, and body pains. And so these uh, type of viruses uh, survive in surfaces. And so, you know, it could be on the countertops, it could be on the door knobs or elevator bodies or other places that uh, people tend to come in contact with. And so one thing I would recommend for people would be to wash your hands as often as possible. If you're in a public place or if you're at home and you have an infected family member or somebody else that's sick around you, just make sure you practice good hand hygiene. So um, this is a very contagious virus. Contagious means that it's so easy to spread from one person to another. And so you have to be very careful um, it usually, you know, the symptoms will last about one to three days or perhaps up to five days in some people and then would typically resolve on its own. And the two age groups that this tends to affect the most will be the little ones, um, the babies, as well as the older population. Um, and then people who are immunocompromised, we talk about immunocompromised state and this basically means people whose immune system is not up to par, maybe due to illnesses such as cancer, or perhaps due to medications that they are taking. It could be for autoimmune diseases um, such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or other things that um, basically require that you take medications that um, kind of put down your immune system. You can also see this in transplant patients or you know people who've received kidney transplant, liver transplant, bone marrow transplant and have to be on immunosuppressive medications. And so um, back in December, there were several outbreaks. And according to the CDC, the strain involved in, this, um, in these recent outbreaks appeared to be different from other strains of neurovirus um, um, infections in the past. But the good news is that this is not something that kills um, terribly. And, you know, we have you know, measures in place. There is no um, known treatment or obvious treatment for it, except what we call supportive care, which is for patients who are dehydrated, um, give them IV fluids or, you know, um, drink um, some fluids to replenish what has been lost, and then, you know, get some rest as much as possible. So one of the questions we'll see um, will be, what else can we do um, to avoid this you know going around the spread so let's say for instance that you have a family member who has the symptoms whether they were diagnosed or not diagnosed there are common measures that you can take at home at work and as well as other places perhaps if you are traveling in a train or airplane uh, one would be basically to wash your hands hand hygiene um, use soap and water the hand sanitizer doesn't work 
as effectively as you know good old hand hygiene which is washing with um, water and so for at least 20 to 30 seconds the other um, option would be to clean surfaces around you so you know for instance you know kitchen counters um, because you can get this infection also from infected um, food um, obviously so you want to clean the surfaces around your kitchen around the sink area it could be in the bathrooms if you have family members who are throwing up or you know have diarrhea you want to make sure that that bathroom area is clean another thing is that um, it's pretty resistant to just the typical um, sanitizers that we use for instance, um, hydrogen peroxide or bleach disinfectants are more effective in wiping surfaces that um, you know are around the home, so around our workplace. Welcome to Medical Class 901 with Dr. Chi. My name is Dr. Chinello Anamalu, Infectious Disease Specialist and Professor of Medicine at UT Health Science Center. College of Medicine, Division of Infectious Diseases, Memphis, Tennessee.